Oh, is this another one? Look like another one to me. Bruising the motherfucking head, bro. Ah, back down like SmackDown. I'm staying local, and I'm gonna try to keep doing local shit because my people's out in the city of Chicago and the surrounding area will probably love to see these things. So we are going local. I don't get my hands on much from these people, but I heard a lot about this one and I sought it out and I found it and I am here to review it now. So this is from Old Irving Brewery. That is uh, out of Chicago. And they have a beer known as Beezer. I believe it's their flagship beer. And they decided to do a double Beezer. So today we are reviewing double Beezer. All right. So I like that the colors all pop out on this can. I've never actually uh, inspected the can. So what's actually on it, I'm not sure of it. I see the logo, the double beezer, the beer type, Chicago flag on that joint location, all of that. But on the front, it looks like a fucking scuba diving, I guess, with the double beezer words on the bottom. I like the colors. I don't know as far as what's on the can. I don't know what a beezer is. Maybe fucking beezers are motherfuckers that jump down in the water with those big ass fucking radiators on their head. I don't know. Anyway, double beezer. It says here that uh, we got Citra, Mosaic, Hops in this joint. This motherfucker is a uh, 8.5% double dry hop, double IPA, man. Good shit. The world is full of double dry hop, double IPAs, and I will drink them all. Uh, currently on Untapped, it is sitting at a 4.34. Pretty decent rating. I know a lot of people don't give two shits about Untapped. I like Untapped. I like it to log my beers. Uh, generally, things that are over four are, are usually hard to come by. And as far as the... Uh, you being able to get your hand on it, it's usually a lot of local shit that people might buy, you know, in their neighborhoods. Anyway, glasses on because this motherfucker has less than 3,000 check ins, only 400 for the month. Uh, actually, has IBU notes on here, which is uh, 52 IBU, so not so, not so bitter. Uh, that's 2,200 ratings on this joint. So it just says here, Citra Mosaic Double Dry Hop Double IPA, Big Brother the Beezer, our 2019 GABF Hazy IPA gold medal winner. So Beezer is a gold medal winner. It's a pretty special beer. And Double Beezer, I hope, will be just this fucking special. But we got to find out right now. We about to crack that beer. And y'all got to excuse me for rocking the pint glass, but... You know, Heisenberg is here, and he gonna kick it for a minute. So, bear with me. Guy gets shot when he opens his door. You think that of me? I am the danger. I am the one who knocks. Support a brew. All right. This looks like a nice tall glass of OJ, bro. So as we swirl up, make sure we're getting all the haze in the bottom of that can, man. I remember hearing that you should store these upside down. I hear about rolling the can. I think swirling uh, is the best way to do it. And swirling usually works better towards the tail end, like when you got fucking little bit left in there. That's when you can really get that haze to fucking mix in real well. And the bad thing about it is most of my glasses are pints. And the motherfuckers don't hold the whole can without going to the very tip. So. I don't know what 
represent me as in there, man. So, then my boy Heisenberg, like, this fucking beer is gonna be fire. Nice, uh, hazy joint. Can't see nothing through it, you know what I'm saying? If I had behind it, you see nothing. Alright. I can't smell anything. Very, very faint scent, which is weird, because usually when I crack my beer open, the fucking aroma always spills all out, and I already know what, what I'm getting, but it's a uh, very faint citrus uh, orange peel type joint going there. It's a uh, it's very faint though. It's just there's, there's really nothing to the nose. It's kind of weird. I don't have a date on here, but I know it's fresh. Uh, I bought it, you know, not that long ago, and it was pretty fucking fresh. Yeah, like just dropped. So it's fresh beer. I'm good with it. Mmm. Mm. That's good. So, it is, uh, as they said on the can, it is 8.5. It's a very drinkable 8.5. It actually has a little bit of dank on the finish. All nice and fruity up front. I'm getting like fucking grapefruit, more of a uh, piney type grapefruity, like uh, like if fucking if there was a fucking two hearted haze type joint. I mean, I'm not saying that it tastes like two hearted, but it's just that grapefruit and that pine. I believe that's what I'm getting there. A little bit of bitter on the tongue, a little dank on the finish. Very fucking drinkable, 8.5 joint. That motherfucking nice, bro. I fuck with it. It was a really good beer when I had it, and it's a fucking good beer to this day. And this is a beer I would buy again. I think it's really good. I get excited if I saw it on tap. Yeah, uh, so Old Irvin Double Beezer deserves a 9 out of 10. I think it's a really fucking good beer, man. I like this. You see this, you grab it. You definitely grab it. Like, you 100% get this motherfucker. And I gotta try Beezer because if Beezer is, uh, half the man that this is then i'm expecting an eight you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna try that motherfucker but i would say get your hands on double beezer bro if you can get it get this motherfucker i like it i like it a lot and i'm about to enjoy this beer because i had a hard day at work peace bruce no motherfucker bro